Yeah, version two of my e-bikes built. Uh, Virtually what I've done over version one was uh, just make it more efficient, a lot safer with the chemistry and increase the range because it's more efficient and it's got a little bit more power. So, so probably just a quick walk around. It's 60, at the moment it's a 66 volt nominal at Life PO4, 20S, 1P, uh, 30 amp hour patch cells. It's all done with buzz bars and nuts and bolts, so there's, there's very little uh, resistance. I've made a screen up. So it gives me the total voltage, my cell voltage on every 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 cell, and that's hardwired to the battery via a six to six amp fuse on every single balance lead. So it's pretty safe. Got additional voltmeter. You previously didn't have. That's the auxiliary battery voltage. Uh, I changed out the charging ports to a modern modern charging ports. Uh, just aluminium aluminium housing, and they're just they're just nicer. They actually have to modify and fit into the existing outlets, but work nice. Uh, Egg rider, egg rider display, uh, normal th left hand thumb throttle, and that's uh, actual uh, cell 24s cell log display. I've made up and put it in a weatherproof box, which I've siliconed up and I've also plastic dipped it so stop dust getting behind the screen. I will see the back 85 855 egg rider. I'm still running pedal assist. And I just got the pannier rack at the moment and a lightweight chair. Just so I wanna make a cup of coffee and have maybe some noodles just for just for lunch. Uh, test out me uh, cook cook titanium cook set I bought. Just an ultralight cook set. But yeah, she's looking alright me. I'm, I'm happy with it. I mean, you've gone, I've gone up from 61.3 volts to uh, that was peak. And now I'm at about 68 volts peak. Still around the same wattage. About 1,800 watts I'm running. Thumb throttle 1,800 and Paz 1,600, which I use most of that when I ride around here. But, yeah, pretty epic. Pretty epic, pretty epic view around here. So I had to come back up that mountain there, which is, let me tell you, it's about 15 k's of uphill. So <laughs> you sort of know why I've got, uh, I've built a, built a battery like this. Number one, it gives me more range. Number two, I'm not worrying about battery fires at all. Uh, and then I've got a brake light there, which is, comes on when you get with the, uh, like a gyro thing. So as you, as you brake, light comes on gets more intense at night of course it changes automatically but oh yeah modify the kickstand so i made up a heavy duty bracket because the last one after four years it started to bend the, the three mil so i made that a four mil put a right put a, a, a triangle formation between that right angle and fully welded it and then i extended the kickstand down here by about 50 mil so I could raise raise the uh, ground clearance on the kickstand, but and just have this section here longer, and it works quite well with all the panniers on it. It still holds it up quite well. It's coming down that hill doing about 75 k's an hour, man. Just rolling because of the weight, you know. It's pretty good. It's pretty good up hills too. It's about oh, I think before it was about 32.1. Now she's about four kilos heavier. But it doesn't really matter because it up the voltage. It, it cancels it out. But uh, yeah, I'll probably do a full walk around video or something later on. But I haven't done a video for ages, man. So anyway, give any YouTubers a bit of an idea of how they can create an endurance bike where it will do 
well even load it up it should do about 85 or 100 k's load it up on a flat ground yeah just a quick note uh i'd like to thank uh the high voltage uh high voltage team um check it go check out their uh controllers the high voltage controllers for the back 855 those guys helped me out a bunch in the out to make it more to make the whole thing more efficient a high voltage uses less current of course to get the same wattage um yeah so especially greg he helped me out a bunch mr high voltage and also captain coswell of, of you know a few of you a few of his earlier videos were helpful when he when he first started doing the bbshd with the the back 800 i believe he had but uh anyway yeah just a quick quick thanks to those guys helped me out a bunch and you know i wouldn't have built built better built it without that controller especially the uh, ease of uh yeah it's not really a swap out it is a swap out but if you want to make a custom to see your bike you really got to modify the harness in my situation anyway because my my controller is up in, the, up in that seat post uh, and then obviously it's uh, the wiring tucks down right down there where the dead zone is right down where the A is of Australia the, the, the first A in that, in that triangle area down there all the connections go down there and then most of that is battery three quarters of it's battery so yeah a lot of, a lot of re engineering to do version 2 but I'll tell you what man you can go up hills uh, instead of first gear you can go up in third now you know and uh, just a lot more a lot better average speed and more efficient more the most important for me using pads all the time that's the critical part for me I don't run around on throttle man I, I could but I choose to do uh, relaxing long distance rides man that's that's just how I ride and how I want to ride Uh, yeah, beautiful, beautiful area down here. Just a few, maybe a dozen kangaroos down there on the side of the dam. Where it's nice and green. It's a local, local wildlife here, man. Can't beat a real way the way. They look, so, they look so cool when they move and walk and jump. Yeah, just doing a quick video of uh, my traveling cook set. This is only this is only a fraction of what I'm carrying, but just my ever new titanium burner and 650 mil pot, a double wall cup that fits inside it for my coffee, and then I just made up a. A titanium windscreen which I bought myself 0.2 mil titanium foil cut it to size and goes around it works well use the training simmering if you want to extinguish the, the fire if you want to save the fuel yeah nice and peaceful here beautiful little little uh what's it called a big big agnes ultralight sky, I think ultralight skyline foldable chair that's pretty cool very comfortable it's got really good reviews for its weight and its size extremely highly recommend all this setup really so. all right i just got back after my ride uh it was a pretty pretty hell ride but it's worth it at the end i mean going down is easy you get about 75 80 k's now down the hill but up 
It's definitely better. It definitely heats better because I used to go up that same hill uh, for about 15, 16 kilometer hill climb in first gear, the uh, 40, and soon I upped the voltage from uh, 61.3, which is 15S, and then I switched over to lithium phosphorus. I'm running 20S. Uh, 20 s 66 volts pretty much nominal and and it's lithium phosphorus as people know it holds that holds the 65 volts for for pretty much the whole duration of the battery until it gets to like three volts of cell then it just completely falls off but just 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 after that ride i think it was about uh I'll just go for maybe averaging 15 kilometers an hour, but that I'm only going easy, man. I'm only using pedal assist. I think I use up that hill, very aggressive hill for 15, 16 kilometers. I was using the uh, third sprocket at the back, so that's I think you got 46, then you got 42, so that's probably around about the 36 or something. I had to guess the third sprocket, even the fourth sprocket, I went up to one stage. So, you know, you just got to use common sense. The motor was barely warm when I stopped at the top of the hill. But uh, there's the display. I had to leave these two empty because it was giving me funny readings if I just put, them, put the 20S side by side. So I put a 10S battery because they're separate batteries. Put one 10S and then I laid the second 10S um, and then left the two two or one pin actually on one pin and end up being two readings on the display so that's first battery 10s and then yeah the so first battery is 10s you know from there right to there obviously you can see from the readings but i don't know if you can pick that up and then the second battery from there to there i can turn it off via this or i can turn it off by the key switch so that's just if i'm riding at night on that blaring my eyes i can turn it off there without worrying about the ignition so just going back to the efficiency it's pretty decent man it was it was half loaded up i got the penny rack on there my chair my cook set you know coffee sugar milo all that kind of stuff pack of noodles and then my backpack as well so you're not you're not light you're probably I'm, I'm about 90 kilos, 95 kilos, and then add another oh, my backpack plus that, for at least easily another 10 kilos, you know. Um, anyway, let's go back to these readings. So, 100% charge on the left, it's saying 51%, but that's not real accurate with lithium phosphorus, it's because the curve is so flat. Uh, 64 and a half at the moment started off around about 66 67 um, 15.3 watt hours per kilometer which is a downhill and then coming back up we'll just do the average so a 55.4 kilometer trip that was and I'm just still new to reading this, but I think it's 849 watt hours I've used. Uh, and I've averaged 15.3 watt hours per kilometers over the 55 and a half kilometers. So an estimated 50, another 52 kilometers left in it. So yeah, I'm pretty damn happy with that, man, especially when it's partly loaded up like this. You know, I'm like, I'll just prove it. You get this key switch there. It'll kill the screen, you know. So that's dead. It obviously kills the egg rider too. So it's like a master switch. But yeah, anyway, just helping people out, looking at efficiency of e-bikes. And the lithium phosphorus are a little bit heavier, but I'm telling you now, man, the, the difference is night and day between that controller and then going, stepping up from... 15s to 20s in the lithium phosphorus so from you know 61.3 to 66 67 even though it's four kilos heavier it it it's uh it's still not in day mate the amount of, amount of uh the ease of which you can climb hills now you know so yeah anyway hope that helps on out so anyway i'll catch you catch you next time cheers